And speaking of relationships in jeopardy, Joe Biden's equation with American voters looks precarious. Next year is election year in America, and things do not look good for the president. Let me show you the results of, a recent, of recent opinion polls. Voters in six battleground states were surveyed, and they were asked to choose between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And in five of these six states, Trump is leading. Five out of six. He's the more popular choice. It says a lot about the state of American politics. An incumbent president trailing a man who's been indicted 91 times. And while Halloween season may be over, this poll has left Democrats spooked. They want Biden to reconsider. It's just a polite way of saying, please step down. Don't run for president again. Make way for someone younger, someone who can rally the voters. You see, Biden won in 2020 because people wanted Trump out. But this time, they seem to want Biden out too, and not without reason. The biggest reason is the economy. Americans are unhappy with it. They're financially squeezed every month. Lifetime savings are at a record low. Credit card debt at an all-time high. The U.S. may not have gone into a recession, but the sentiment is not positive. Then there's Biden's policy decisions, including his foreign policy. His presidency has seen two wars, one in Ukraine, another in Gaza. And this has divided his people. Some want the U.S. to stop funding Ukraine. Others want the U.S. to stop backing Israel. They want America to stop the war. He's turning a blind eye on everything. And he, he's only listening to the opinions that he likes. But I think... Uh, as an American, we have freedom of speech, and we can say whatever we want to, and he should listen as the President of the United States. Enough is enough. It can't go on, and we need the White House. We need Biden to listen, because you can hear it out here. Everyone is out here. We're all here for one reason. The killing of innocent people needs to end. Of course, Biden's team is in denial. The election is still one year away, and they say a lot could change in one year. They also say his resolve to run is firm, so he will contest the election. Doesn't change the fact that an increasing number of voters do not like him. That said, what option do they have? 2024 is shaping up to be a 2020 rematch. On one side, there's Joe Biden, the incumbent president. His approval ratings are at 37%. His age is more than twice of that. On the other side is a former US president, Donald Trump. He faces 91 felony charges. He is dealing with four separate criminal charges. He's literally on trial right now in New York. Yet Trump seems to be the only choice for the Republican Party. His popularity seems to trump all of his legal mess. And Donald Trump knows that. He even compared himself to Nelson Mandela. I don't mind being Nelson Mandela because I'm doing it for a reason. I'm doing it for a reason. Uh, doing it for a reason. We got to save our country from these fascists, these lunatics that we're dealing with. They're horrible people and they're destroying our country. I talk about threats from within and threats from outside. So there you have it. The so-called land of freedom and democracy. It has 170 million voters and they have a frustrating choice. They have to choose between two old white men. It's a rematch no one wanted. But this is a rematch that America is getting. As the country gears up for elections, the stakes are very high. Many are calling it the most consequential election since 1860. That's the year Abraham Lincoln was elected. We cannot predict how it will pan out. But for the world's first democracy, it's a bit of a shame.